What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina and yesterday we went out to do a salvage job and I want to show you this video. Uh, when we do salvage jobs like this, first of all, they're not always pretty and when you're dealing with mother nature, uh, physics come into play as far as how much lift you got to have, if you're lifting a boat, maybe a car or something like that. Uh, but I want to show you the realities of salvage as well. We do everything that we can to protect the environment. But I want to show you the destruction and the damage that can occur during a salvage job. Now, at the end of the video, you won't actually see the cleanup part of it, but we spent several hours cleaning up afterwards, getting any floating debris uh, out of the waterway, and we even went under the water to get some of the debris up there as well. But sometimes when you have a salvage job like this, it's going to get nasty, and that's exactly how this one did. Um, for boat owners out there, let me give you a little word of advice please carry insurance on your vessel because if you don't, the cost to salvage something like this is just ungodly. So unfortunately, this homeowner um, or this boat owner didn't have insurance on his vessel. And so he was stuck with a pretty good size bill. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You've been asking for more salvage related videos and search and recovery videos. So here you go. Basically, we went out, we got a call to do some rigging on a 40 foot houseboat that had flipped during a recent snowstorm. So basically you had a houseboat with a roof on top. He had another roof on top of it. I'm not sure why he had two, but the, just the weight of the snow actually capsized the boat itself. And then of course it was capsized inside a dock system. Now you'll see us actually clear, clean out the uh, upper roof, if you will, first. And then we towed the boat away from the dock because there was no way that we could actually flip this boat back over uh, safely without damaging other boats in the area. So we had to pull it out into an open area. Uh, but once we got it out, you'll see the underwater rigging part, how we went under with the straps and then how, of course, how we uh, secured it and then lifted. Did take three attempts. This was an eight hour job for us, but it took three attempts to actually overturn the boat. And then once we got it uh, uprighted again, that's when the cleanup part came. So guys, I really hope you enjoy this video.
and just swim yours to the other side and we'll start here and go.
Go slow and let the water drain, it might work. He's got to get it halfway. Huh? That's what I'm saying. If he gets it halfway, it will. get it parallel with him and then pull it in that might do it. straight up with it. Come on. Don't stop. Go with it. And he's keep going.
So guys, as you can see, we was very successful with it. We did have quite a bit to clean up afterwards, but uh, guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. Uh, if you like these style videos, do me two favors. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and definitely share this video as well. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.